Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Unreal Engine 5.0.1 3D Avatar into Character Creator 4. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, I'm going to open the Unreal Engine 5.0.1 through my Epic Game Launcher. Here I will choose my Unreal Engine 5.0.1 and I will launch it now. Alright, as demo, I'm going to create a new project. A new game project here. I'm going to create a third person game. And the project name, I will just name it as my project to UE5. I click create. Now it is creating a fresh new project for my Unreal Engine Okay, now you can see this is a fresh new project. If you try to play, this is a Unreal Engine 5 third person character game. Now, so where are the characters there? Go back to the content folder. By default, you can't see the content browser. So you have to go to the window Go to the content browser to just turn it on. Then the 3D avatars in Unreal Engine 5.0.1 will be inside this folder, the characters. So now you have mana queens. And go into the meshes. What you are going to export it out are the skeletal mesh. Now you can see the pink color skeletal mesh. All of this you can export it out just now you are in character folder another one is the mana queen ue4 also the same go into the meshes you can see you have the skeleton no not skeletons you have to export the skeleton mesh right if you double double click you can check your skeleton mesh this is a ue4 the ue4 version right so, for Unreal Engine 5, it is, it is the Mana Queen and it is the Meshes SKM Many SKM Many, simple This is the guy and SKM Queen You can export it out Right In order to export it out, you have to right click here Then, Asset Action Click export. You will export it as FBX file and as demo I will export it on my desktop here, the SKM Queen. I click save and here just click export. Right now, this is the FBX file that exported. Next, this tutorial. I'm going to import the 3D avatar of the Unreal Engine 5 into Character Creator 4, what we call the CC4. Now I'm going to open the CC4, the Character Creator 4. Now this is my CC4. I'm opening it and just wait for a while. Now you can see the character creator for already loaded now. <coughs> Next. Next. The SKM Queen FBX. You can drag in the FBX. Drag the FBX file into here. Just drag in. Then 
import the FBX as character here, the humanoid non-standard. Have to choose this, then click apply. So now, analyzing character data structure profile detected for auto conversions. You can make it as a CC game or the Unreal based character. So you can try the CC game. Let's have a look. What will happen if you convert it to the CC game? Now it is importing. So this one, it is unacceptable. We don't want something like this. So we try another one. Just start a new project. Do not save. We drag in and then import it as character, humanoid, click apply. Then here we choose the Unreal base character, click OK. Now everything is look okay. If you go to the characterization, you can see all of the skeletons are really well plot. And actually, you you can just make it become become your avatar, right? And you can see actually the body is not not that not that right right here. You still can just just edit it again. Double click. Okay. Just off it first. Adjust the body for the the body pose to make sure it is straight and upright. Now it should be okay. All right. Then click active again. Done. Okay, next is the, the texture. You can see in, in Unreal Engine, in Unreal Engine 5, it has certain texture, but at here you don't in your character creator for the texture is missing. So you have to come back to Unreal Engine 5, double click and go in. At here. Just go to the assets, backup material. Right here. Material big setting, the property. You are going to export it, the export the diffuse. Here, just put 1024, 1024. Besides the diffuse, you are going to export the opacity map as well. Also, export the normal, export the roughness, and export the specular. You are going to bake it out. Click confirm. At this moment, you have to wait for a while. It is baking everything out and you can export all the materials out from here. Now you are still waiting for baking materials. You have to wait until it finish. All right, once done already, you can see all the texture, it look like missing, but it doesn't matter. We have to make sure we back to the folder, then go into the folder again. Now you can see, now you can close this. Now just now, you can't see any of the, the texture. Now you can see all the texture here. So you have to export it out. Now what do you have? This is the base color texture, specular, roughness, normal, base color. So first we export it, the, we export the base color first, right click, we right click it, the asset actions, we export it, export as the bit map. I will export it on my desktop, I will create a new folder, 
name it as texture so I export a tier set it so now we now we can just just off this click and off it now you are in, in CC3 you only have to so we import the base color at here open the texture folder and then we try to import this into the base color to have a look okay, another one is at here we just try an arrow to see so this one should not be the texture so just undo it this part is correct already and now diffuse color just make it white another one also the same it should be white color here All right next is this part this part should be another another one here right click export export at the same folder so we can try if we export a TGA what will happen if we save it can we use a T TGA the same folder all right this is the, the TGA if you drag in wait drag in into here the TGA is okay as well all right now this avatar already exported out you check your mana queen SKM queen right this avatar already sent to unreal engine already sent to character trader 4 now actually what happened to here we already exported export the 3d avatar from unreal engine 5.0.1 to character trader 4 and we already make it become one of a cc avatar now we are going to save this just go to go to the content custom the cc project of course you can save one this one skm queen just save it as a cc project here and then you also can save it as avatar click here click the character click save this one is SKM Queen. Right. Wait. This one should be at here. Save. Here you have to, to change it. Or you can just export it as I avatar. Just like click file export the i avatar Could export export it on your desktop skm queen dot i avatar once you already save it as as a cc cc project then you can export it as i avatar as well now we can try it in iclone uh, in iclone 8 as well i'm going to open the iclone the iclone 8 to try to animate and see is that we really successfully export the Unreal Engine 5.0.1 avatar into Creator Creator 4 and iClone 8. We just try it, try to see the animations, whether it is ready or not. Now, the iClone 8, the iClone 8 is ready. Now we try to try to just import the avatar, the mana queen. I drag in, put it here. Now this avatar, name it as mana queen. Go to the contents, go to the motion, the animation, the motions, the human, male, the form. All right. Now we try. Play. Right. So now this Unreal Engine 5 avatar is ready. 
and it is ready to perform any of the animation in iClone 8 as well and it already successfully imported into the character creator 4 right that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!